This is what Emily loved doing most. The promise she had, the yeah. potential, the talent, the creativity. Yeah. She was a fabulous actor and singer and she worked so hard mm. all her life to achieve what she had. But Emily will never fulfil that promise. She died after a fatal blood clot was missed not once, but twice. Emily thought she was seeing her doctor, but unknown to her, she had been misdiagnosed by a physician associate. They'd had to give her an antidote at the hospital to the propranolol. Yes. So before they started totally on avoidable. it. Yes. 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 That's and, what... and that compounds your grief. Yes, because it makes us feel even more guilty. The coroner's inquest into Emily's death said she would still be alive if she had been seen by a doctor and sent to A and E. What a PA can do with two years training and what is appropriate for a doctor to be doing. Emily's case has prompted the BMA to demand change. Physician associates are not trained doctors, it warns, and must be banned from diagnosing patients or there will be more preventable tragedies. There is no guidance at the moment as to what PAs should and should not be doing, and that's potentially dangerous. Are you worried more patients might die? Or, or may patients may die. Tripti Chakraborty is a physician associate with 10 years' experience. She told me she totally rejects any idea that patient safety is compromised by her role. We are not a danger to patients. There are me even before being regulated, there are many processes in place to ensure patient safety. So the NHS needs PAs because we just have we have so many patients to see. We learn how to spot red flags as well, and um, that helps with us being safe. If we're not sure what to do, we will then escalate the care. The contentious issue has divided the medical community, but everyone agrees that there must never be another avoidable death like Emily's. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.